How do recording artists stand the test of time? With fierce independence, they break boundaries. With a sound all their own, they define their time. In those challenging early days, where did you draw your inspiration from? Specifically for this, this record, we have to go back to uh, America, really. We, we kind of prematurely went on this huge, great tour of America. The record label felt that we needed to, to visit every radio station. So we'd go and into these quite, quite small radio stations sometimes um, and be greeted by people who had no idea who we were. <laughs> be, being English boys, we, we hadn't acquired that transatlantic confidence when meeting people and kind of everything being great and, hey, how you doing, you know, and everything. You know, if we weren't feeling particularly ebullient on that day, we wouldn't pretend we were. So we saw all of these things in America and they kind of terrified us and appalled us to a degree. The behavior, the, the gluttony, the sort of size of everything, it terrified us. We, we felt really uh, small. And I suppose, so you add to that the kind of sort of excesses of the road and the indifference. Mm. Excess and indifference are really bad combinations. And modern life is rubbish. You know, from the title, which um, was a minuscule little um, bit of graffiti at Hyde Park Corner on a wall, the whole thing kind of sort of, yeah, it really did feel like that. You know, it felt like everything was imminently going to go completely insane. What do you think it was about your like production and overall sound that made it so unique and groundbreaking? There is a very broad compass on that record, isn't there? Like you said, there's kind of a punkiness to it, but there's also string sections and brass sections. And it was Stephen Street showed us how to approach recording in a slightly more methodical way. But the thing is, we had multiple producers on that album, mm. including ourselves. <coughs> you know, I was never going to be a flipping really, really kind of technical guitar player. I wasn't interested. I was more like interested in painting. We were being what a band should be. It's like, you know, kids experimenting and seeing what, what they're capable of. Holding 